problem 9.1 and we like to find the centroid of this circular wire or the wire that is one line that is bent in a semicircular way. So the first thing that we will do is find a differential in this kind differential of line and find the coordinates for a general position theta and as you see this is R because all the material of this figure is in this line over here. Okay, so this will be X, R, cosine of theta and Y will be equals to R sine of theta. So this is Y. The definition of centroid for a line will be equals to the integral of x dl, in this case because we have a differential of linear distribution of the mass, divided by the total length of that. So we already know the length because that's a quarter of a circle and we know that the circumference of a whole circle is 2 pi r and we divide it by 4. So this whole circumference of a circle is 2 pi r and if we want to only have quarter of that circle we divide that by 4 and we will have pi r over 4. We could also do it as the, the integral, I mean if we want to practice how to find the line will be the integral of that line and we can do it from 0 to pi and that will be r the theta from 0 to pi half and that will be r theta evaluated in 0 to pi half and then the length gives me exactly this pi r over 2 right? and here we get exactly the same result pi i over 2. So this is my length that I will use over here. So we can write this then, that's x and differential of line, we cannot write it as r the, the theta from 0 to pi half divided by the length that we know that is pi over half, right? And we can write x in terms of r theta, which is then r cosine of theta times r the, the theta from 0 to pi half divided by r pi half. r, of course, is a constant, so we can pull it out of my integral, and then I have the integral of cosine, which we all know that is sine, right? So we have, we can cancel out one of the r's, and then we will have that this is 2r, right? That goes to the top. The integral of cosine is sine of theta evaluated in 0 by half. So that gives me that x will be equals 2r sine of pi half, which is 1, right? minus sine of zero, which is zero. So this goes away, and this is equals to one, right? Where is my pi? Over here. Therefore, x is equals to two r over pi. And that's the result we were looking for, for x. So we know that this will be the location of the centroid of this figure. If we do exactly the same, but for y, we get something similar. And then we will have that this is 0 to pi half. In this case, we have r sine of theta, r the theta divided by the total length. And there is similarly, we have r squared over r pi over 2. And then the integral of sine is the negative cosine of theta, and that evaluated in 0 pi half. That will be then we cancel out this one with that one, and we have 2r over pi 
negative cosine of pi half minus cosine of zero. So here we have, a, we evaluated that, and as we said, this goes to zero, and with this negative, and this is one, therefore it gives me actually the same result, right? So, and that was what is, was expected because, well, this is a symmetry, right? We have symmetry. So, what I want to just draw, where is that centroid located for a circular wire or a wire that is bent in a semicircular form? My centroid will be right here where this is equals to 2r two over pi, and this over here is also 2r over pi. And this is the result for this problem.